1962, Walter Patterson, a 42-year-old decorated World War II veteran, was gunned down in his gas station in Wall. Telephone rang and I picked it up. My aunt was on the other end and she thought that I was my mother. And she said, Walt's been shot. I dropped the phone and I started screaming, no, no, no. And my mother went to the phone. As I turned around, my sister said, what? And I said, daddy's been shot. And we both fell on the couch crying. Two men went to prison the following year for that murder. In 1970, one of those men broke out of a New Jersey state prison and two years later, hijacked an airplane to Algeria. Fast forward 41 years and a man's found living in a little hamlet outside of Lisbon, Portugal. I got a phone call from the FBI telling me that the media would probably be in contact with me because they had been able to pick up George Wright. What went through your mind when you got that phone call? It's, it's shock at first and a lot of jumbled up emotions. I just felt in one way relieved, in another way, it brought back all the memories of that night, and that is what's so hard to deal with, going over that again and again and again. It's unclear whether Wright will be extradited back to the United States as he works his way through the judicial system in Portugal. I think that he owes the state between 8 and 22 years on my father's sentence alone. He will probably also owe something for the air piracy. I think he needs to come back here and pay to his debt to society, even if he's remorseful. When you choose the crime, you choose the punishment. And I understand that now he has said that he has some type of illness. I don't think that should deter anybody from having him come back here and, and you know, finish his sentence. I mean, he got, he's had a good life for 40 years. He took away half of my father's life. For APP.com, I'm Charles Webster.